Oh, hello Spartans. I didn't see you there. A couple weeks ago, you may have seen this picture floating around the internet of an experiment performed by Dr. Richard Davis, who is a microbiology lab director at Providence Sacred Heart Medical Center. This simple yet relevant experiment tested the efficiency of face masks, like this one. What Dr. Davis did was he held an agriculture culture plate in front of his mouth and sneezed, huh, choo, saying, I'm a trendsetter, got other teachers rapping. The only difference is ours is good and they be lacking. Talked, yeah, I think I am taller than Mr. Cunningham now, and coughed <coughs> into the auger plate. When he performed these actions without a mask, bacterial colonies grew on the auger plates meaning the bacteria from his mouth flew through the air and landed on the auger plates and grew. When he performed these four actions with a mask on, there was little to no bacterial growth on the auger plates, meaning the mask blocked all the bacteria coming out of his mouth. Now, you're probably thinking, Mr. Hedis, you're talking about bacteria, but this is a virus. The common argument against face masks is that the coronavirus itself is smaller than the pores in the mask, which is true. However, just like bacteria, viruses are rarely found alone. Instead, they are found mixed in respiratory droplets coming out of your mouth that the pores in the mask are fully capable of blocking. One last thing. It's important that we're getting our information from trustworthy sources and not just from memes on the Facebook or even most websites found on Google. I've included a list of academic articles that I have pulled from professional medical journals that were published by doctors, professors, and other highly trained medical personnel and scientists. What you will see from these articles is that wearing a mask is a powerful tool against the spread of the coronavirus. I wear my mask to protect you and your family. I hope you do the same.